Good day and welcome to Tommy's Holiday. During this 21-day Scottish Highland adventure, I'm able to visit Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park several times. My second visit is on the east side of the park from the town of Callander, where the lowlands meet the highlands. During these next two days, I'm exploring the town and hikes around in the National Park. A boat ride on Loch Katrin and a hike up Ben Ann, which is an awesome view. In episode 15, I arrived in Calendar and walked down by the waterfront. It was so beautiful, I started off this morning with a more detailed look at this easy, beautiful river and meadow walk. This one mile pathway is paved and easy for all to access. This is the bathing pool. Walking through the small patches of trees along the river allows one to get into the water should a wild swim be on your mind. And here we have the piper's pool. The wildlife is close and very calming as the swans enjoy the river. Beautiful walk, beautiful river. The Lower Woods Hike takes me to the end of town and then up into the woodlands just north of the town. On the way I pass a lawn bowling group having a great time. Once in the woods, I find the trail sign and know I'm on the right path. There are many bridges and small streams, creeks, that I cross on this wonderful moderate trail. Just beautiful. As I walk through this beautiful woodland canopy with moss-covered rocks, there's a feeling of peace that falls over me as I lose myself in this wooded wonderland. And then I realize that the town is no more than a quarter of a mile away. So I continue my walk along the edge of town. The trails are all connected here, and there is great signage that points me towards the Brackland Falls, my next adventure for this morning hike. The trail continues through this beautiful woodlands with bridges over little creeks.
It looks like the falls are only a half a mile or so away. Coming to the upper part of the falls, Exploring the falls is wonderful, and today there are not a lot of people to contend with. Adventuring down the rocky ledges, following the water to view the many falls along the way is just beautiful. I'm here at Loch Katrin, a 13 kilometer long freshwater loch in the heart of Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. This loch has served as the main freshwater supply for the city of Glasgow for over 150 years. It takes uh, approximately 14 hours for the water to reach Glasgow from Loch Catron uh, because it's all gravity fed, there's no pumping whatsoever. The name Loch Catron comes from the Gaelic Cataran, meaning Highland Robber, the most famous of which was born on the loch's northern shores, the famous folkloric hero Rob Roy McGregor. This natural island we are now coming to is Ellen's Isle or Elan Mola, which in Gaelic means Shingly Isle or Stony Isle. It was a stronghold of the MacGregors in the mid 16th century, so there may well be buildings or fortifications on the island, but they are hidden by the thick trees. The famous Scottish writer and poet, Sir Walter Scott, came to the Trossachs with his family and spent many hours sitting on the shore behind this island on a beach called the Silver Strand writing his poem, The Lady of the Lake. In that poem, the Earl of Bothell and his daughter Ellen took refuge in a castle on the island. Visitors who are fans of Outlander can explore the banks of Loch Catra which was used in Season 2, Episode 13, Dragonfly in Amber. It is here that Brianna and Roger spend some time together having a picnic. Fans can explore and recreate their own picnic. Queen Victoria famously sailed up the lock in 1869. Should one want to follow in the steps of royalty, the journey can be repeated today on the historic steamship Sir Walter Scott. Launched in 1899, the steamship still ferries passengers up and down the lock from the Trossachs Pier.
Cruising back to the Trossachs Pier after this one hour tour on Loch Katrin, it's hard not to enjoy this pristine waterway and the lush green hills and islands and the mountains around. If the opportunity arises when in Scotland, take the cruise on Loch Katrin. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here at the Ben Ann Trailhead. Ben Ann is in the heart of the Trossachs and has a truly beautiful viewpoint. This hill is found between Loch Katrin and Loch Archery. The hill walk is scenic and the final ascent to the summit is a bit demanding. So let's get going. Ben Ann is one of the most popular hill walks and our distance today is about four kilometers or two and a half miles. Expect to stop at a tumbling stream as one makes their way across this first footbridge. Continuing the climb up the stone path, the trail reveals an excellent view of the steep and pointed summit of Ben Ann rising ahead. The path heads into a beautiful wooded forest. This next section allows me to get lost in a scenic pathway as it becomes more steep. In the gap, I stumble upon a couple wild camping along the trail. So there's actually a sign that says, take a moment to recover. Stay on the pass. So you still have up there to go. Oh, wow. Reaching the base summit area, there are wonderful views of Loch Katrin and the nearby hills covered in purple flowers. The last rocky section of this trail is fairly easy to reach the top. Top of Ben Ann. What a beautiful valley down below. As I return down the hill, there are still many awesome views to be had in this scenic Scottish land. I am reminded that a return visit is warranted to explore many other aspects of this national park in Scotland. Thanks for watching Tommy's Holiday.